In this very short video, I thought we should revisit the last two uh, problems that I did in the last lecture. So here we have the steps, just as they were in the last lecture in the purple, and we have on the right side the rules that relate to those particular steps in the algebraic simplification of the expression. And at the very last in the green, we're trying to get you to see that even though the rules all reference the letter A, in actual fact, any substitute can take place. Basically, as long as the A is made equal to whatever it is, whether it's an expression or another letter, uh, the mathematics still holds. And that's illustrated here, we, where we have uh, a whole expression, A or B, C or D, and that is just taken to be A, and as you can see, the rule still holds. This is a very powerful concept that stretches throughout mathematics, and you have to learn to spot these patterns of the rules when you see them in a function or expression. Okay, now this is the second example from the last lecture. And once again, we have put the rules that relate to those steps in the simplification in purple. We've put the rules that help us to know what to do next. We've put those rules in pink on the right-hand side. Okay, now the bottom two that we have circled in green... We're about to give you the pattern there so that you can see how that relates. The one on the left relates to the one on the right. So study that until you are happy with that arrangement. And then we finish the simplification and break out the next one in peach okay so that should give you a good head start in how to go about simplifying the expressions uh, enough for that you should be able to do tutorial one now finally this is just an addendum to the compound gates that is located at that web link that you see there. We wanted to show you that the NAND gate is simply an AND and a NOT combined in that way. Similarly for the NOR gate, the XOR gate is a completely new gate that excludes the condition where you have two ones on the two input. But the XNOR gate is once again just an XOR gate followed by a NOT gate. And finally, for those people on YouTube who have subscribed to YouTube who are not part of my class and may would like to see the uh, lecture notes that are used, the tutorial uh, question papers, assignments that the students are doing, and possibly some solutions posted later on in the semester, please go to the website smendes.com and you can see the course there, Digital Electronics 1, or you can put in in lowercase el10b with a slash and go directly to the page for that particular course. Well, thank you so much for watching and looking forward to seeing you in the next video.